Blessed day everyone, so reggae superstar coffee gets bashed by her fellow Jamaicans. But guess what? Tanya Stevens has speak out and a different coffee and I put some of the Jamaican people them in a them place. So basically, I'm going to tell you now what's going on. You know the rioting and thing what's going on in America, Zine. Coffee is the latest um, Jamaican entertainer for voice them opinion on the entire situation. Now, a lot of um, Jamaicans feel like say, coffee should not speak on that. She for more put her input on the things them are going on in a Jamaica. Which to me, I don't see why they would have bash coffee for voice her opinion on the George flight situation because everybody are talking about it. And the reason why everybody are talking about it is because all of we have families worldwide. You understand? So it affects you whether you like it or not. And you know, and the same thing come affect your grandkids or later down in the future. So somewhere it has to be stopped right now. So that's why you see the people in my axe. But as me say, coffee come out and voice her opinions and Tanya Stevens are different. Her. You understand? And Tanya Stevens says some things where I definitely have to agree with. But before I play what Tanya Stevens had to say, I'm going to show you some of the comments them where the people in make towards coffee. And hopefully this not break down coffee. Well, then again, this not supposed to break her down because coffee not really have much luck, you know. Everything she do is a problem. If she hug up a girl, them say this and that about her. If she walk up the road, them find fault with her. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is show you the post where coffee make. Then I'm going to show you the comments them with some of the people in my say, isn't it? So this is what coffee posted. As we witness the constant injustice towards our brothers and sister, we must stand together. I may be young, but I can fully feel the weight of the decades of oppression and abuse towards not only black Americans, but black people all over the world. Let George Floyd life be not in vain. We must fight for freedom and fight against injustice. We are all in this together. None of us are free until all of us are free. Hashtag George Floyd. So the message is a good one, right? Positive message and coffee at table, unity and stuff like that. But you know, as usual, people are gonna find fault. So I'm showing you the comments them. So one person say, that's nice, but more on the same energy for the crime rate out there, protest about the gunman them. See, nothing wrong with what the person is saying about is like them bitter towards coffee. So our next person say, 40 Jamaicans D.I.E. last week, who mourning for them? And our next person say, as Junior Reed said, them foreign mind, America is heaven for them. The more you treat them like animals, the more they chase after the U.S. And our next comment said, dance a yard before you dance abroad. Jamaicans love to pick up people's businesses over their heads. All these celebrities need to do the same in Jamaica. And people make you go on and on and on and show the comments like crazy. Because the people them did a deal with coffee wicked, but as me say, me not feel like say coffee deserved that treatment. She have a voice and me feel like say she use it to the best her ability. And coffee does speak out on certain things who are going on in a Jamaica. It's like them just not want the girl for have a voice. I don't know people, don't just leave in the comments and make me know where anything. But as me said, Tanya Stevens put out a video and this is what Tanya Stevens had to say. So here what up now. I saw I came across a post made by the Jamaica star in which I was tagged. And as usual, I look on the comments because I like for no one to think. Um I don't really, not really understand why I still look so much because invariably when I think the most disparaging, the worst things. Oh no, no, I'm very supportive or positive set of people. And and by oh no, I'm speaking of my fellow Jamaicans. I am Jamaican. The Star's post was talking about the current spate of events in uh, the current spate of violence in the U.S. The protests, the the riots in the U.S. And it said that Coffee, young artist Coffee, is the latest. Jamaican or reggae artist to add her voice in condemnation of the racial um, violence in America, right? And the comments, the first few comments I read underneath it were this, uh, um, disparaging artists, basically discounting artists' um, involvement in anything local, saying, oh, they have, they have strength for go talk about America and them have mouth for talk about America but them not can them not local. That's a fucking lie. That is a lie. You see, Uno, Uno, what is wrong with Uno? Hmm? Artists get involved in every fucking thing. I mean, I just mean me. I mean every artist. Artists lend them voice, then lend cash out of them pocket, then lend them name, then credibility, then lend everything tangible where they have 
and give to movements where they move by. And every single time one Jamaican artist express an opinion on something non Jamaican and that you no know, come with, you don't need to find a new blood argument because you know six stomach. We can comment on things all over because you know we work all over. And we mostly work other places outside of Jamaica because Jamaica does not have the market to sustain us. It just really does not. And yes, we play to Jamaicans outside of Jamaica. But if we only play to Jamaicans, I go tell you, I want to feel the artist that. And if Jamaicans are the biggest portion of our audience, I want to feel the artist that. The world have nearly 8 billion people upon it. And for we, if we consistently tour, Jamaica can't sustain me. So now we don't need to get out of our feelings. When we say, Jamaica and a major part of my audience, get out of your blood feelings because statistically it is f not. Get out of your feelings. And every day, you know, you change the landscape. Every day, you know, twist and contort you know, mouth and change the landscape some more. If be a little bit less accommodating to we to be a little bit more insultive to we to be a little bit of everything negative to we and then still want to tell we say oh so you care about other places but not jamaica we care about we are virgin we live here and after tanya stevens put out that video there you know don't ask me if some of the people i'm not bash her because you know say from the other day she a get fear she a bashing people are say she mad People are say she need to go get psychiatric evaluation, all types of things, you see me? But in this case, I have to agree with her. I am know for a fact, so no matter what you're doing in this world, people are going to always find a problem with it, you see me? Even if you tell them the best thing for do, you're going to have that person or persons or people or whatever where they're going to group up and once one person comments something negative under your post, then you know, say that is like a domino effect because others are going to follow. And even if them not think it, just seeing that one comment kind of sway their mind for say the same thing or something similar. But when you think, people, do you think coffee deserves to be treated the way our people are treated? Her? Well, I don't want to say treat her because I'm sure say coffee could probably ignore most of these comments. But I don't feel like say, these people should go at coffee just because she voiced her opinion on the judge flight situation. I'm going to play a clip and I'm going to show you how Spice out there actually a protest. So I can just, me just wait for see the comments them on the Spice video, you know, before I come and talk about it. Because I know you're going to have some people where I bash her. But anyway, people, check out that small clip here. What do we want it? What do we want? What do we want it? What do we want? What do we want it? What do we want? And for those of you who don't know, Spice of a house in Atlanta. So she actually can protest because she live in America. And she live in a Jamaica, you see me? Nothing wrong with that. And even as Kathy just live in Jamaica alone, she can still voice her opinion because what she said, nothing wrong with that. But as I say, people, more on the me know how to feel about this whole situation. Do you think that the public figures in Jamaica should not speak on anything we're going on in another country? Just Jamaica alone them for focus and leave it in the comment section and make me know. And people must also remember that these same public figures, where they want to speak on Jamaican things alone, them travel go America, them travel go other countries, go try and make money and things. So why not speak on things that's happening over there? You understand? Remember, say all of this affect them as well, you know, because they can't get for travel and them thing there. But I know you're going to have some people who are not going to agree with me because the last time I speak on coffee, I see people have bashed me for my opinion just because I did a kind of different. Or, well, not kind of, I did a different or when I tell people say they need to leave her alone. But as I say, let me know anything about this. Anyway, people, bless upon yourself, stay safe, I'm out. Get out of your feelings. And every day, you know, you know, change the landscape. Every day, you know, twist and contort, you know, mouth and change the landscape some more. For, for be a little bit less accommodating to we. For be a little bit more insultive to we. For be a little bit of everything negative to we. And then still want to tell we say, oh, so you care about other places but not Jamaica. We care about we had Virgin. We live here. Yes, we care about we had. And me not speak on behalf of every artist. In fact, me only speak on behalf of myself. But from observation, every fucking artist care about you. Majority of the time, when we see we do show, we don't make no money and fight because the economy is not there to sustain me. Majority of the time, when me do show, by the time I don't get the band, the money, when me, me, not, me buy gas out of my pocket, got the blood clad show. Majority of the time, when people come to me and approach me for show for the year, I do the show out of a feeling of it's, it's emotional attachment to the place. And the people who do support me here, I have fun of Jamaica. 
But the truth is the economy of Jamaica now sustain artists and we don't expect it to sustain it and we don't demand it to sustain it. 